Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have seen that how we can use view, text and style sheet in React Native with TypeScript. You see, now in this video, we are going to learn how we can use button component here in React Native with TypeScript. For that I create one more component so I am just closing this under the YouTube folder I create one more I say button example dot tsx like this again I say rnfes so we create this component here now in place of this text I need to create button here and for this button we will use a style also so for that first of all I take view here under this view I will take the button so I say here that button react native I say title and I give the name to counter you see and I give the color also because we have color property here so I say color is green I say green color then uh, I close it and I save this you see so here text I am not using but I will use text also in later on but you see I just save this and under this app I remove I remove this view and in place of view I use button example like this and I just remove the view that I was using earlier okay now I just save this and it will change to button and I go to my component you see it will change to button now button we have here counter so I just give some formatting to this button also so here I say style equal to styles dot button like this way then I create object here button I give some setting to this I say width of this button is 200 pixel and I say uh, this margin of the button from the all side I say it's 20 save this you see that button we have like this way and uh, I need to give some uh, you can say position in the screen also so I can say self align align self and I say center of the screen self alignment you see self alignment is at the center so like this way we can give CSS property style sheet to this button now I want to click on this button and I want to display something for that I say on press you see I say on press here I need to pass a function I say handle I say handle press this function I'm going to use here now I create this function here and I say const I say handle press equal to remember that this is my function under this I say alert so alert we can pass here dot alert and here I say welcome to react native with typescript you see save this I save this you see that whenever I will click on this button it will display welcome to you see welcome to react native with typescript you see and if I, if I want to pass some title to this alert, I can also pass this title like this way. So I say here that information like this, save this. So whenever I will click on this, you will see that information is a title and then I have welcome to react native with TypeScript. Like this way we have the message. But this is a normal way you see to use function similar to JavaScript. But what is the modification here and how the this function calling is different suppose I I want to pass message from the function like this way I want to pass this message and here I want to pass the message remember this message this message I cut it here and I want to pass from the message like this as a parameter I want to pass this this message I want to pass from here and I say for that uh, suppose I say first uh, parameter I say title second parameter is message like this way similarly I have here first parameter as a title and this is the message this I want to pass here remember that then I want to use the alert so I say title 
and I say MSG I'm using this this way I want to use it now I can't use uh, this function right now like that why because it will call and re-render itself automatically so first of all I just do formatting so it will look like better right now to understand it now I use here the arrow function under the arrow function I will call this function so I say under arrow function just I am calling this function and in, the, in this function I am passing these two parameters. Remember that same message will come but here is a type script so it giving some message some error. You see same information information and welcome to react native with type script and if I say it's warning suppose in place of this I say warning like this and here I say message I say now now react 0.71 point one is with now react native is with typescript like this i want to display so i click this and you see it message is change so with this parameter i am just changing but the problem is here you see if there is a normal javascript there is no error but here is a typescript so generating error it giving you a warning that by default this variable is of any data type remember that it's saying it's of any data type so do you want to specify any data type to this yes we can specify we say it is a string we say it is also a string you see and i save this so this message this error is gone so in this function i can pass these parameter with the data type that is the difference between javascript and typescript so here we can specify the parameter type and typescript so error is gone same we have but it's more data type secure language you see better to use so like that way we can use button also we have the same button which we used in react with the javascript also it's the same button that we use in java with the javascript also but in typescript if we are passing some parameter then we have to specify data type so we are using this handling this button also in react native with typescript if you learn it please do subscribe thank you for watching this Thank you.